Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we will be testing the lock method using Curls Dynasty's products. I am super excited to do this video. And I'm gonna show you guys how I got this amazing twist out. It is fluffy, it is coily, it is springy. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Now let us begin. I'm starting off on freshly washed hair. I already started doing the back half of my hair just to save some time. And my hair is super conditioned and soft right now. It's actually amazing right now. Once I was done sectioning off my hair, I followed up with the smoothie leave-in, the Kala smoothie leave-in. I actually really enjoy this leave-in. If you ever wonder for a leave-in that has slip and moisture, this is one of my go-tos. I've actually used lots of Curls Dynasty products in the past, and they are some of my faves. I always go back to them. So this will be the L of our lock today. For the O in lock, we'll be using their organic oil blend. I really enjoy this oil blend. It's actually really good for pre pooing my hair and to lock in moisture. Not a lot though. I tried to use only about three drops per section of hair. I decided to detangle with my brush with the best for today. I really have been liking this brush. I've had it for about, I want to say two, three, maybe even four months now. And this brush it is a great detangling brush. It is black owned, so that is amazing. And my hair gets detangled pretty well with it. I'm enjoying it for my out of the shower while styling detanglers. It doesn't offer the same curl as a Denman brush on the ends, but wow, it still does really good at detangling my hair overall. And I've noticed I have less shedding with this brush, which is highly surprising because I never thought my brush was attributing to my shedding until I started using this brush instead of my Denman. Don't get me wrong, I still use my Denman here and there, but not as often just because if I just want the curl at the end, I'll just swipe it through once after it's been detangled. And I'll just use my brush with the best for all my detangling needs when out of the shower. For the C in our lock method, I'll be using the Vanilla Cream Custard Curl Defining Cream and wow, I love this custard. This is my first time using it. I usually will typically use their Twisted Definition, but this one actually has a stronger hold than the Twisted Definition and I just personally prefer it more. I'm loving it. This custard offers me amazing definition. I am loving the definition that is giving my hair, and I definitely think it is locking in the moisture, so I'm super excited to show you guys. And it definitely did lock in the moisture. I didn't feel like my hair needed anything else besides this, honestly. I probably could use this alone with just the leave-in and be happy, just because it's so good. But knowing me, I'll put a gel on top eventually. So once my hair was all twisted and done, it looked amazing. My hair was moist and soft and I really liked it and enjoyed it. I knew that the white cast on my hair was gonna dry clear because I've used many Curls Dynasty products before and even though it leaves a white cast initially, depending on how heavy handed you are, and I am extraordinarily heavy handed, it'll just go away once it dries. But ooh, look at that curl. And this is my completed hairstyle right now. This is what it looks like. It is so moist looking. I'm looking at my roots too and I'm just like, wow, this looks so good. Mm -hmm. 
And this is the next day and see it dried completely clear it looks so good it is so moist and wow I love it I could already know I already know this is gonna be a super beautiful twist out just because of how defined it looks inside the twists so I'll be using that oil blend to unravel my hair I personally love to always use some type of oil or a balm on my hands while I undo my twist outs and wow Look at those twists, I love them. It looks so beautiful. And this is the final look, you guys. It is so gorgeous. So I love this twist out. I think it was super moist and defined and I honestly can't wait to do it again. Obviously I need a desperate need of a trim in this video. Once this video is already posted, I have already trimmed my hair, so I got rid of all those raggedy looking ends, but wow, I still cannot get over the definition of this, even without gel. It's still so good. Hey guys, so this is what my hair looks like the next day with my curls. With my curls fully fluffed out, this is how it looks. I didn't pick it out, I just um, took apart my individual strands of curl where it naturally like fell and this is how it looks. It's, it's so fluffy, it's so bouncy, I really like it. This is my first time trying the vanilla curl. You guys know I always use the Twisted Definition because it's my favorite, but I really like the vanilla curl, vanilla curl, vanilla custard, but I would also think I would like it a lot with a gel as well just because i love doing my twist outs with um you guys know my twist out method if you haven't seen it it'll be right here but i love doing my twist outs with a gel and this is my first time doing the lock method so i didn't do the gel on top but i think i'll probably continue doing the lock method and just do the gel on top because my hair feels really soft and really light and airy and fluffy and it feels super healthy and i do like it like don't get me wrong i like it but I like gel for my twist outs as a preferential thing. Could I do this and wear this as a style? Yes, it's amazing, it's perfect, I like it. Is it my preference? No. And I don't want to confuse preference with the ability of a product working because a product can work and it can still not be within your preference. And I love this product, I think it works, but I think I will add on a gel just to make it more Moniki style than anything else. Unfortunately, Curls Dynasty does not have their own gel, and the Vanilla Custard is their strongest hold cream that I know of. It is definitely stronger than the Twisted Definition. This is the Vanilla Custard. I have the Twisted Definition. I have the entire Curls Dynasty line because I love them so much. I always buy it when it's on sale. And this one's pretty much empty. You can't tell because there's like a little scoop at the bottom that's keeping the whole container looking white, but there's only like maybe two finger full scoops worth of product left. So I'm probably just gonna dab this in my hair whenever I have time, or if I ever wanna like just slick back style or something. But I'll probably switch to Twisted Definition for the Vanilla Custard to test the gel with it next time, but I really like it. I love all of their products so far. It's really a brand that I can like always stand by if my hair ever needs something. Whenever my hair needs something, I know where to go. So I really like it. It's perfect for me, actually. Um, do you guys use Lock Method? Like, does it work for you? I have high porosity hair, so I I have trouble retaining moisture. But the styles I do typically don't need to be super moisturized because I have high growth fatigue, which is pretty much water damage. So technically, my hair is already over moisturized. So I can't see myself doing the lock method all the time because I already have super moisturized hair because of my hair fatigue, which is damaged hair. But I can see myself using the curl the vanilla custard and a gel to do my twist outs along with the leave-in. I probably will ex the oil on those days when I just don't need it, when my hair is like normal and it's not dry or anything because for me personally, my hair does not have a problem with moisture. It has a problem with too much moisture. That is my biggest issue that I always find with my hair. Until my hair grows out all the damaged pieces and it's like cut off and gone, that's probably gonna always be the case. But 
I still like this. I can still wear this. And I can still use this in my regimen when I need moisture. Because even though I have hyper fatigue, sometimes I still do need that moisture that comes from the lock method. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe and like this video. It really helps me out because making these videos takes so much work and energy. I don't think anyone realizes that. So if you enjoyed this video, if it brought you any value at all, just hit the subscribe button and the like button. And if you want to be extra loving, share it to your friends and family. Anyway, I hope you guys had a great day. Bye.